All right. So it should be live now. What's up, guys? I know it's kind of weird timing, but I just got this massive package from the cubicle. So I had to open up. I had to open it up right away. You know, uh, I was highly anticipating that, but okay. So I already got a lot of viewers showing up. That's awesome. Cool. What's up, everyone? Okay. 34 people already. I gave, like, no notice for this, so that's pretty surprising. Um, okay, 37. So, yeah, if we can hit 100, that would be awesome. Um, okay. So, yeah, I should probably get into this soon because I've got a lot of stuff in here. It's, okay, it doesn't look that big, but it's got, like four custom cubes, seven sticker sets, and like five five shirts slash hoodies, so five pieces of apparel. Um, oh yeah, I should probably mention that. So I am planning to compete at Florence Winter on Saturday. Uh, that's a competition in Northern Kentucky. So um and that'll be my first competition since uh, Paris Worlds 2017. So I'm very excited to get back. Um, and hopefully some of these cubes uh, can help me in my preparation. Uh, yeah, I'm only doing like two events, though. Uh, the event list is pretty small. And also like FMCs the whole morning. So I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Um bear with me here because I have not even started to open this alright alright so here's the uh, order information looks good Oh, uh, yeah. Also, thanks to the cubicle for getting this out in a very timely manner. Uh, I really appreciate that as well. Um, yeah. So, let's see. The very first item is the new cubicle wireframe hoodie. So, here's the deal. Uh, since the cubicle changed, like, domains to .com, uh, a lot of their apparel um, needed to be updated, so that's exactly what I have here. And this looks sick. I always love to rock cubicle hoodies. Um, maybe this will be the new trend. Who knows? Uh, but I still love the white jackets. Um, okay, so you've got... Uh, that's a multicolor logo. It kind of looks like the RGB one, um, but... Inside it's um, red, and on the outside it's black. That looks that's a very nice combination. Um, and it has the cubicle along the arm. That's really cool. Can't wait to wear this. Um, yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna say here. Um, okay, let's get into some cubes next. Um, can have a look inside. It's six thirty. Thank you, computer. Uh, let's see. Uh, am I planning to go to Worlds? I have no plans at the moment, but we will see. Uh, it would be amazing to go to Melbourne, but we'll just have to see. Okay. Let's see. All right, I'll get into the rest of the apparel later. Um, but for now, here are all the sticker sets I got. Um, I just needed a bunch of replacement sets for my GTS 2s because of chipping and some other uh, imperfections. Well, okay. Uh, technically, they're not totally legal right now, so I really need to get some. But uh, yeah, I got five GTS 2 sets. Yeah, five. A uh, Volt set and a Wooji set. So... 
Yeah, okay, looks good. Okay, yep, everything's there. So uh, I use half brights plus deep blue. Uh, if you still use um, non stickerless cubes uh, or stickered cubes, I should say, that's kind of weird. Uh, I'd recommend that set. That's definitely the best combination for me. Um, okay. So, let me try getting this down a little bit. Uh, okay. Do I have GAN 354M? No, I do not. Um, okay. I'm just checking the chat super fast. Um, I don't have the GAN 356X either. Okay. So, let's see. I've got um, three magnetic cubes and... Uh, hold on a second. Um, I'm going to put one off to the side. Okay, I've got three two magnetic cubes and a gts3 non-magnetic um okay let's let's go with the lm first because i do not have that dang it i ripped it it's okay i've got two others um okay got a black cubicle stand a uh, very nice box as well all right. I'm very anxious to try this uh, version of the GTS3. Uh, I know Jake Klassen highly recommended it, so that's awesome. Okay. Uh, this feels kind of light. Um, is it? I don't... Or, no, I don't know. Maybe I just haven't used a GTS-3 in a while. But, um, yeah, I asked for a gummy setup while still being fast. So, I kind of expect this to be a little slow uh, right off the bat. But I think with breaking in, it'll be nice. All right, here we go. Okay, at the moment... It feels dry, but I know that's uh, that's pretty typical. Um, just takes a little working in uh, for all these custom cubes. Um, but the magnet strength is definitely a a lot less prominent than on the uh, regular GTS three. Okay, I can kind of feel the lube working around. That's good. Um, okay, uh, okay, very, very smooth, um, I definitely like this magnet strength, uh, better, um, it's quite a bit less, uh, harsh, rigid, uh, I think I think that allows for greater flexibility uh, in solves, um, which I don't know. Oh, whoops! Corner twist. That's okay. Um, so yeah, the flexibility is a uh, makes cubes a lot more versatile, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I like this. I've never actually tried a LM before this. Okay. And I expect these two to be quite similar. Um, okay. Here's the GTS 3M. I have a GTS 3M, or actually two. Um, but... It is not, they both are not set up. Hey, 
Greetings, Antonio from Costa Rica. No, I don't have Snapchat. Uh, <laughs> okay, the cubes. I don't. I don't know exactly how much they are. They're all probably around fifty dollars or something, or sixty, something like that. Um, so quite expensive. But okay, uh, this this one is definitely a little bit more gummy. Also, it feels like there's more lube on the outside. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, I think I know, so I'm pretty sure the cubicle sets up the GTS 3Ms to be uh, super gummy, because uh, I know Keaton has one, and his sounds extremely gummy, and that's what this one sounds like. Um, yeah, it turns very well. Okay. Um... This one, it does have the same feeling, but um, it certainly is a little more rigid than the LM. Uh, I tend to prefer lighter magnets, but that not always does that translate to better times. Uh, we'll just have to see. Um, wow, I'm getting lube on my hands, so I might have to wipe my hands off soon. Uh, Okay, someone asks, where am I globally at 3x3? Uh, I'm probably sub-7 with stack mat or something, so maybe like 6, 8, 6, 9 with stack mat. So I'm definitely like pretty much mid-6 keyboard, mid-6 to high-6. Um, okay, yeah, I, I like this. Um both cubes are performing well. One thing I do want to try is the, um, or try to see is the difference between the slice moves. Oh, sorry if I've been out of frame. That would be embarrassing. Okay. Um, man, the quality is a little bit uh, subpar right now. I'm not sure why. It's probably because it's totally dark. Um, am I competing in blind? No, because there is no blind, I believe. Okay, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, how about we change it up a bit? I'll go with the rest of the apparel. Oh, how could I forget uh, the cubicle business card? I don't have one of these. Or Okay. Um, so here we go. This is the cubicle.com one. Um, definitely a lot more white than the previous one, which was primarily black. Okay. Um, yeah, speaking of business cards, I probably have like 30 right under my desk in my room. Uh, oh, yeah. My blind TPS, it's pretty good, but I use a inferior method, so I am not even close to world class right now. Um, Oh yeah, so are the lights yellow? I, yeah, these aren't the best lights, honestly. Uh, I don't know what the heck the lamps are, but this one should be some sort of LED. Um, I am 17. Do I like Pokemon? Yes, but not as much as I used to. Hashtag Lucas learn three style. We'll see, we'll see. Um, Okay, 
So I got like all the variants of the wireframe t-shirt. Uh, they all look really nice. So this one is the uh, blue, um, blue body white outline. Cool. Uh, okay. Okay, next one is the black body white outline. Okay, this is good. Um, man, I'm going to have a tough decision deciding what to wear. <laughs> oh, and then here's the uh, more traditional one. The... Um, Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay, the material feels pretty similar on all of them. I just went to check. Um, what's my two by two PV? I don't. I don't even know. Like 0.4 something. Actually, I know. I'm not gonna say. Cause I don't know. Uh, it's some world record though. Okay, here's uh just the standard cubicle shirt. Uh, very traditional. Um, I use M2OP blind. Uh, yeah, that's... I wouldn't recommend it if you want to be serious about blind, but that's the best I can do right now. Okay. <laughs> um... 3x3 three three and 4x4 four four PB singles. Uh, I really have uh, horrible 3 and 4 singles. Uh, I don't have a sub 4 yet, which aggravates me like way too much. But uh, I've been getting a lot of 4s and on stack men. Um, and 4x4 four four PB, again, is garbage. Uh, mostly because... I don't practice four by four right now. Okay. Um, I haven't practiced in like 1.5 years. Uh, what's a good two by two? I use the Chew in. Uh, it's a really nice cube. I've heard good things about the Vault 2, but I have not tried that. Okay. This is the. I've been like holding this for probably a minute. Okay. Seven. 18 minutes so far. Uh, fairly good pace. Okay, so this one's just white with a red outline. I like that. Um, favorite color is red, so. Okay. Ah. Okay, let's get into this uh, GTS 3. Have I tried the MJ MGC 2x2? Two two? Nope. Okay. Have I ever seen Felix at a competition? Of course I have. Um, last one was Worlds. First one was Worlds. Uh, except they're four years apart. Okay. Um, this is just the non-magnetic GTS-3. Um... I'm kind of considering using this for blind, but I, it's really hard to say. At the moment, I don't have a huge need for slice moves, but that could change if I learn three style. Um, we'll see. Okay. This one has a similar, um, okay, let me turn this down. Similar amount of lube uh, to the previous cube. Uh, Man, I, I really need to do a better job of getting this in frame. Uh, can I beat Yu Shang Du? Uh, I hope so. Everyone hopes so. Oh, Stanley, use it for blind. Um, that's cool. Okay, this one is gummy as well. What keyboard do I use? Uh, it's a Cooler Master Brown Switch mechanical keyboard. It's discontinued. I 
the model is probably like quick fire TK or something like that. Uh, I've had it for like four years, no, three years, and it is holding up perfectly. Uh, okay. Yeah, for some reason, I don't know, it just looks like I'm dropping frames or something. Maybe it's just the lighting. Um, okay. This one. Okay, essentially all three of those are the same puzzle, just, um... Okay, uh, so yeah, all three of them are the, they have a very similar feeling, it's just the level of flexibility. Um, that varies. Okay, I'll probably end this soon, because I'm through everything, I believe. Um, you guys have any questions i'd be happy i've kind of been looking but it's been on and off uh what do i think of the mf3 rs3 i really like it but truth be told i have not done a lot of saws on it since my last unboxing uh take back two by two state record do i not have a two by two state record um do I like magnetic cubes more? Uh, that's hard to say. I I definitely like the idea behind magnetic cubes and think they definitely do improve times. But I I certainly still like the pleasure of you know just turning on a very very smooth cube. Um, but when you're going for speed uh, and speed cubing, uh, pleasure is not the priority. Um, Okay. Favorite PLL or OLL? Uh, I think. Okay, I I really like the R three uh, U perm and the JB perm. Uh, those are super satisfying. And then for OLL, uh, I like this one a lot and. Mm, let's see. This one's also pretty fun. Um, and the soon from the from a similar angle back right. Uh, yeah, right here. That one's fun. Uh, do I use CLL EG2 or EG1? Uh, I use. CLL and EG1 fully, uh, and partial EG2. At one point, I did know LEG1 and EG2, but uh, that was for a very, very brief period of time because I could not retain the algs after learning them in two days because I didn't practice after that, which, whatever. I didn't really have an ability to, so, okay. Uh, I hope I haven't forgotten any of CLL or EG1, though. That would be problematic, but you never know. Uh, okay, it's been consistently like 75 viewers. Uh, that's pretty good, especially for um, Thursday night. Okay, I'll end this around 7. Uh That'll give, like, about uh, 30 minutes of streaming. Okay. Um, let me go wash my hands super fast again, because I've got, like, lube. Um, uh.
Okay. I'll do like an average of five on the LM. Uh, we'll see. Philip. Oh, what do I average on the stack mat? Okay, I think. Wait. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, wait. Okay, this is the LM. Uh, wait. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I said sub seven. So if I had to be a little more specific, probably like six eight or something. Six nine. Okay. Can I do a typing test? I mean, I can, but I don't know if I will. Uh, Okay. What's my average for typing? Uh, for talking about ten fast fingers, probably one hundred twenty. Um, do I use Yao or reduction? I use reduction, although. I'm pretty sure my times for Yao would be quite similar. Um, I just haven't really taken the time to practice Yao as extensively. Okay, that was really bad use of inspection. And I missed a ZBLL. <laughs> okay, still a 7.5 though, that's not bad. All right. Eight seconds. Oh. Uh, ignore that. Uh, disregard the solve. Okay, this is embarrassing. Uh, okay, three more. Eight seconds. Ah, got a little bit of a lockup. That was 6.3. Should have been low six. Uh, okay. Six, five, eight. Uh, okay. I... No, I don't even have it shot. It's sub seven. It's okay. Wow. Corner twist. Okay, might have to tighten this a little bit, but seven two average with a lot of fails. So we'll see. We'll see. Definitely not the greatest uh, average, but okay. Um one thing I did notice, though, was uh, the cube isn't... I'm used to a very fast GTS2, so um, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be um, switching to these for this weekend, but it's certainly a possibility. Um, okay. I really do like the feeling of this LM, though. I think it's nice. And... Okay. Might be a little rigid for OH, but we'll see. Okay, we're nearing the end, so if you have any last-minute questions, um, go ahead. Uh, I'm not going to open... Well, I could. I'll open one, see what cards I get. Um... Here. Oh, the cards are just the standard ones. They're not the um, just uh, random team MoU member. So you've got Steve and uh, Mr. Chen, I believe. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll address that later. Um, 
but yeah, I do need to get these stickers a applied pretty quickly so that I can compete with GTS twos. Um, but that's the nice thing about stickerless puzzles. You do not have to worry about uh, that. <laughs> do I think Tanzer should get a Moe card? Why not? I mean, Tanzer is sponsored by Moe. Yep. Moe. Oh, God. Excuse me. Uh, 3x3 main. At the moment, it would have to be the Cubicle GTS 2N uh, standard version, although I really like the LN as well. Okay. Um, you're a 60 to 70 word per minute index typer. That's insane. Why are, why are you doing that, though? It's impressive, but no, oh, don't do that. Um, tips for sub 8.5 3x3. Okay, at that speed, I remember, let's see, that was, that was probably... 4.5 years ago. Um, at that time, I okay, I definitely started to work on um, predicting my first pair in inspection. Um, so using my inspection time more effectively. I also remember optimizing my OLO and PLL algorithms uh, while also adding in some ZBLL and COLL. Um, so overall, um, just uh, figure out ways to increase your efficiency while also um, optimizing um, your algorithms for speed. Um, you can't just really spam and improve uh, as rapidly anymore at that pace. Um, okay. Do I know NOM? Yes, I do. Cool guy. Uh, should you finish learning EG1 to get sub 2? Yeah, why not? Uh, it's a fairly easy set. Um, when will I compete, compete again? This Saturday. So, um, really excited. If you guys are going, I will see you there um, in Florence. Okay, it's pretty much seven o'clock now. Oh, would I ever consider competing in feet? Um, I did compete in feet once actually, but we're not going to talk about that because uh, I suck at feet and I should have not done it. Uh, how are my hands doing? Better. Um, working my way back to wellness still, but I am very happy with the improvement I made. Okay. Um, maybe just one or two more questions. Um, am I going to Worlds? Not sure. Um, do I know Leo? Yes, very nice. Um, and his mom too. Seven o'clock. All right. That's my cue from my computer. You didn't hear that. So... Uh, in summary, I got a few custom cubes, a bunch of stickers, and all of this. Wait. Shoot. All of this from the cubicle. So I am stoked. Um, thanks to them for sending me all the products. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming out. And, yeah, by the way, I'm probably going to leave this public, so. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's a minute, so, um, yeah, okay, I was just checking the chat one last time, but, all right, so I'll, I'll catch you guys later, see you soon.